What's up, YouTube? Rose City Sports Cards. We're back with a special Mail Day Fun Weekend segment. We got us a couple of giveaway wins from the Card Wolf. If you haven't checked out Card Wolf yet, you should uh, give him a sub. Take a look at the rips he does. He is a, a very um, avid collector of both new and old. I've seen him rip some retro stuff and, and new stuff as well. And he's always got a lot of interesting takes. On uh, both the game and the players. Some neat stories. Um, I really enjoy his videos. So, you know, like I say, if you haven't ran across his videos, you really should check them out. But I was fortunate enough to win his um, last giveaway that he did. It was for his 100 subscriber milestone. And he had actually done one just a couple of weeks before when he had hit 50. And... Um, that was a giveaway that he pretty much opened up to anyone who wanted to participate. You just sent him a comment on his um, entry video, and he would send you some cards. I think he had you specify what type you liked the best. Um, I think I might have said football. Um, can't remember for sure how that went, but um, he ended up sending me some cards that I really enjoy. And uh, I've already opened this and took a look, so it's be a surprise to you guys, but... I'll read you the card he, or the note he sent. Thank you so much, Rose City, for all your support and kindness as I've started my channel. Appreciate all your comments so much. Hope you enjoyed the cards. Some Hall of Fame and some not, but all vintage. Thank you, Card Wolf. I sure appreciate you. And uh, we have similar tastes in some of the older cards um, and older sets. Um, one of the things I enjoy about watching his videos is he he's real knowledgeable about the teams and players from back then, as I am. And um, a lot of neat stories that... He's told in the videos. This is one that's close to my heart because it's Bobby Gross. This is a 1980 uh, Topps card perforated with the three different players. But Bobby Gross was a member of the Championship Blazers team in 1977, led by Bill Walton. We took on the Philadelphia 76ers, who had Dr. J at the helm, um, Chocolate Thunder, Daryl Dawkins, a bunch of all-stars. They were just a really uh, loaded up team. We were underdogs in that series, but... We closed them out in Game 6 here in Portland, avoiding having to go back to Philly for a Game 7 where we might not have fared so well. So, I love this card and don't have it, so that's going to be a really neat addition to the PC. Ooh, we also got a Walter Payton Bears card. It's All-Pro card from 78. Um, it's a beauty of a card. I don't believe I have that one. I've been collecting him quite a bit, and so slowly but surely I've added a card here and a card there from the card show vendors. Um, a lot of those guys do collect a lot of the 70s and 80s sets. And so I've been able to get a few here and there, but I'm pretty sure I don't have that one. We got a Nick Bonacani, Hall of Famer, Dolphins player. I also remember seeing him a lot in the Bud Light commercials they had in the uh, 90s and <laughs> early 2000s, I think, you know, is when they had some of those real funny Bud Light commercials, and he was always in those. And a nice-looking, really sweet Edgar Martinez Top Stars base card. Boy, I like the look of these top stars design. So that was a really nice uh, little giveaway. Some presents from the lair. This was for his 100 subscriber milestone giveaway. And he, he did a reveal of a few of the cards on his channel when he announced the winners. Or actually when he... um when he did the, the entry, so you knew kind of what you were going to win, but there was a couple of unknown cards, um, which I'll show last. But this Trevor Hoffman, beauty of an autograph. It's the X-Fractor uh, from Select. Set of autographs, low numbered. 16 out of 25. I believe he holds the uh, record for the most saves in the Major League Baseball history books. Um, that might, that might have been broken since he retired, but I remember, I think I remember hearing that when he retired, he had the most saves. So what a heck of a closer he was. And, um, I don't think he got a lot of the props that he probably deserved along the way. Hopefully we'll remember him in the, you know, history books as one of the best, as he certainly was. We got some bonus cards here that he threw in that weren't really mentioned, I don't think, but, um, he knew I'm an Eagle fan. And what do you know? He gave me a Randall Cunningham pro set card. There's my, uh. Autographed mini helmet, one of the kind of prized uh, prizes of our memorabilia collection here. And uh, I've just always been a fan of him, both when he played and um, throughout the years looking back. I don't think Philly's really ever gotten many quarterbacks that, you know, were as good as him. So he'll always be one of my favorite Eagles. Ooh, a Chris Carter card, too, from Pro Set. 
what a player he was, too. Went on to play with uh, uh, Randy Moss at Minnesota, and they really tore it up over there. Broke some records. Got a Gaylord Perry Tops card. Very nice. One of the all-time greats in baseball. Well, a Mariners highlight card. Taylor Trammell and J.P. Crawford. They're really celebrating there. That must have been uh, like a game-winning play or something. Ooh, 72 leading firemen. These were real desirable cards, the fireman cards. It created quite a buzz in collecting. Thank you so much. This one's Sparky Lyle. <laughs> right, and Clay Carroll. Very cool. I love it. And here we go. I kind of saved the best ones here in the back for last. Another Walter Payton. It's the 87 Record Breakers card. And for most rushing touchdowns in a career, he uh, broke that record in 87. It appears to be, uh, yeah, 110 rushing TDs. So at the time, that was the record. Not sure if that still holds or if someone's taken that from him. But he will definitely be remembered as one of the all-time greats. He was all-time leading rusher for many years until uh, Emmett Smith broke that record. Ooh, and this was one that he revealed. So we all knew that someone was going to win the Troy Aikman rookie card. And that's a beauty of a card. I've, uh, I've always wanted this card. So it's really awesome that I have one now for our collection. Thank you so much, Card Wolf. There's also a foil Pokemon card of LaPrasse. Um, hope I pronounced that right. I don't know too much about the Pokemon characters. I just really enjoy and appreciate the foil, the beauty of these cards. That's a neat one. And uh, also have a Joe Sockich Opichi card. And uh, might be, this might be his rookie card. Um, what a beauty of a card. All right. He's definitely a youngster in this picture. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate you breaking out some PC from the lair there, Card Wolf. And we will cherish these cards. Also wanted to give a quick shout out to the Autograph Fisherman, John Burgess. He's an up-and-coming YouTube channel out there. And he really does have a quite extensive collection of TTMs. Um, if you haven't ran across his channel, you might want to check him out. Um, that's the Autograph Fisherman. And uh, he's an avid angler of autographs through the mail. And he really gets a lot of good signatures. I've enjoyed watching his videos. And he posts quite a bit. So, um, you know, head on over and check him out and give him a sub. He's closing in on 100 right now. And I think with the VR that he has going out, maybe we can all as a community help him get up over 100. And on his way to bigger and better things for his channel. And uh, really appreciate you, John. He's a great guy. Um, other than that, I'm going to be heading off to the card show, get some footage that I can uh, show you guys um, probably tomorrow morning if I can put that together this evening. I know we got a busy day because as soon as I get back from that, we're going to prepare for our uh, 400 subscriber milestone celebration. We're going live this evening. It'll be at 8.30 Eastern Time, 5.30 Pacific. Over here where I'm at on the West Coast, it'll be early in the evening at 5.30, but depending on where you are, we look forward to ripping a box of illusions. It's a mega box. And hopefully we'll pull a banger auto out of there. We've got a couple of value packs to use for the um, folks who want to come in and join us for our celebration. We'll have pack wars. Winner take all style. So uh, we look forward to seeing you in that. And of course we're going to follow that up tomorrow with a live stream group break. Same time, 8.30 Eastern, 5.30 Pacific time. It's a five-box mixer. Uh, a lot of different really cool sets there that we can try and get some heavy hitter banger cards out of. You get an autograph guaranteed out of the Mosaic. There's an autograph or memorabilia card out of the Absolute as well. Of course, you have a chance for a Kaboom card with that. That would be big. We got a mega box of Bowman. Mystery box with the different years of packs. You have a chance to get rookie cards of all the best players over the last few seasons. And an upper deck. I'm, I'm sorry, not Upper Deck, Update Series, Hanger Box as well. Just kind of round it out. The spots are available at our website, rosecitysportscards.com. Very inexpensive. You can get two teams for $15 or four-team bundle for only $25. We also are going to uh, randomize a couple of teams to the participants, so you will have a chance to get an extra uh, bonus team, and two people in the break will get a free team. So that's going to be a lot of fun to see who wins the bonus teams. We have a 
Chronicles value pack to use for a pack war for the first 15 people who enter the chat in the live stream tomorrow. And uh, also some rookie cards and inserts for both the live stream tonight and tomorrow that we can offer as some prize giveaways. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're really looking forward to it. I know Betsy enjoys the interaction that we have in real time on these live streams. It's a lot of fun. So I hope you guys will uh, pop on in this evening and, uh, and join us tomorrow for the live group break. In the meantime, best of luck to all of you in your card hunts and your pack rips. Rose City Sports Cards, out. <laughs>